All right, um, this is by no means the only way to uh, do this, but it's um, a pretty straightforward way. Uh, so um, um, let me just set up a A over B, um, you know, composite. All right, so I'm going to need a format node, and I'm going to need a transform node. All right, and now I want to take this image and um, cut a hole in it. Let me just uh, scale this up a little bit. All right. All right, so let's just say I want to, you know, punch a hole through this image. But I want to first, you know, mask this image a little bit first. So I would just, you know, take my roto paint node and uh, just create, let's say, my shape on that image. All right, and this is by default is the way it shows up in Nuke. Um, we're going to leave it at RGBA for the output, but for pre-multiply, we're going to change it to also RGBA. Okay, and then we're going to change that source to foreground. All right, that brings back the image. Okay, now we're going to um, add another uh, layer by clicking here and then just drawing now an inner mask. So let's just say I want to punch a hole through here. Okay, and again, we got that same issue. But this time, we're just going to select that layer, and we're going to just switch the blending mode to um, minus. Now it gets a little funky looking here, so we need to change the source color to foreground as well. And there you have it. And then there's your hole punch out through the mask. Now again, this is not the only way of doing it, but I find that whenever I do a, you know, um, an A over B, uh, this is, um, you know, a pretty straightforward way of doing it. 